here in our last class we complete the uh, pages okay admin and user pages we have completed right so let's continue the further okay so here we have to implement the routes okay routes before implement the routes we have to create the another middle way which is a clear session cookies this is must when you implement the cookies so we have to copy this here php artisan make middle way are clear session cookies so okay, here when the user is log out we have to clear all the cookies and sessions this is must for securing the system so you have to type the command php artisan make middleware clear session cookies press enter key it has been created okay inside the middleware folder so you will be able to see here is a middleware here the session we already we have created two middlewares which is a admin and user this is a third one is a clear session this one i'm going to go to put this code right so this is must so when you are doing the cookies so this here crf token it will be checking the cookies and everything over here right so this one on okay that's the thing you have to write it over here so this one right okay so after that what you're going to do is this is the register the middleware so how to register middleware you just copy this code right you have to paste on the here you have a bootstrap inside the bootstrap there is a file app so here we have to register over here we already registered two middlewares admin and user the clear cookie also we have to register okay the clear cookies right so that's the thing you have to write it okay clear cookie. uh clear session cookies it will be not clear cookies you have to write this one clear session cookie you have right clear session cookie what's the name you have given here you have to give here okay if it's a different name you have different name you have to add it over here right. perfect we have done things well uh let's go over here what's the things we have to add more thing about anything right perfect right after that what you are going to do is we have to implement the routes right so let's take the routes i'll be explaining don't worry it's called go back to my routes folder we already done two category and products so the user you have to write this one based on the user authentications so based on the routes for authentication you have to write it here ready right so authentications so you have to write the user authentication and admin authentication we have a separate two things user authentication these are the public another one is a private you have to understand what which one is a private which one is which 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 are the uh which which one are private when which one are public okay so here the user login you already you have a login user login these are we have to write it as a flag which one as a private okay the login credential check register form these are all the things we have to make it as five uh public private mean authentication authentication mean when you if the username and password correct you have login onto the dashboard so we have to put into the auth middleware so here here when the request is coming it it's not directly coming to the access the controller in between the controller we have another part called middleware here go and check for the user coming go and check if the username and password correct user is correct all things are valid only it will be telling to the controller to do the work okay so that's the thing we have to make it as a middleware so we have to create the route to here okay so here so when the user is coming slash login you can say first you have to check one by one okay so here so we have to edit the all the things over here right so here we have to add this one yeah your con control is resided inside the user folder you have to give the path this is reside on the user folder user login user registration user dashboard admin inside the admin login controller admin registration and admin dashboard right everything is at the path so here when the user coming slash login someone is goes to the where here when you run that i run and tell you so that you have to easily understand 
Now let's run the application and check it whether it's working fine. Then you will be able to understand. Decent serve whether it's working fine or not. Copy this address. You have to paste them from here. Just log in. What happened? I am not saved. They save the things. If it is not working, your control C to stop it. You have to type the command php adds and optimize. It will be clear everything. Okay, so here, things error. Some other problem with this. Now the problem is here. This one. So here, the the bracket is not put it over here. Control to save. Now the problem is okay. Now let's check it. Run run the application back. So okay, now let's refresh it. Login layout blade not found. We asked the where is coming that one. Login layout blade. When you run the file, we have got the error layout, login layout. So how to solve the problem? Go to the login layout. Here layout, we have changed this on a login template. That might be some problem. Login temp. But now this one, I just rename it. Just copy this to paste on here. Login temp, login all. Now let's check it. Check it back. Now it's okay. So I had got a registration. Login temp not found temp so not temp plate. Save all. Now let's refresh them. Right. Now here I'm going to add the new user. ABC email ABC password 123 hit save button a login layout not layout the text page also you have right login temp login temp click temp right control to save now you can see the, here the problem has been solved so here what is the thing abc user email okay the, it's duplicated so here okay we can't enter again so here we have to enter another and here we have to have abcd at gmail.com one two three save button here it stands right it's perfectly working now i'm going to log in abcd one two three here also middle way are both not found where are the things here uh middle way are both I think here this one we have to go it here this way are both okay, right now the problem back to my documentation uh middle layer oh here the both we haven't added this work line that's a problem okay here this one okay this all things you must know that's why if you are how many error you are coming from when you are doing program you learn okay without the error you can't make the program okay so we have to make the program at this line so after that the admin also you have to choose this one right so now let's say look take a look look at this one again i'm going to log in the user 
middleware was not found. Okay, I haven't saved this one. Right, it's coming. It use a here it's coming successfully use a dashboard. Uh, dash use a dashboard. That's a problem. Now I got the problem and define method user here you go to that particular controller dash controller here without writing anything else you have to write it the method dashboard return the view what is the view user dashboard so here what i did here is when you log in the user you can see here when the user login successfully what i did here i am going to make the validation part over here here it's called to the user dashboard. It's called the user control dashboard. When user dashboard here, dash, user control dashboard. Here we have dashboard. This goes to open the dashboard, user control dashboard. User view. That's the user view, user view dashboard. It will be here. This one not a template, temp. Here it's a temp. Okay. Control has to save. Now let's check it. Right, so what's the problem? Right now, let's problem back to user dashboard. Save all. Let's refresh it. Now it's working here. It's login. If you want to again sign in, it's work. Right, it's working. So here it's a session. Right, if you log out, it's login. Log out. Okay, so here after that, I'm going to make the same thing here. Admin as well. Admin also. Uh, you have to make the admin panel also. We have to write it over here. Login temp. So, login temp. Copy this. Dashboard all the paste this. Login also paste this. Thank page also paste this. Now let's go over here. You have type slash admin slash login. Here also layout login layout. What's the problem? Save. Right, it's also working here. Now you can uh, admin also you have to register user admin user gb gb dot at gmail dot com password you have to type it right. Right, thanks. So, you admin, you have to log in. Admin user, it's working. GB, G, B, at gmail.com, password 123. Here also, the, uh, here also, what I'm going to do is here also, we have to go to the same user dashboard. You have to write this copy. Go to the admin dashboard, you have to paste them. This one is not a user, it's an admin. Admin deleted task. Control is save. Bring back to the application and check it. Here it's called the admin G G. Click click sign up. It has been signed up. Right. So effectively, I have this uh security stuff is working successfully. In my next video tutorial, I'll be explained step by step how the system works. Okay, so how the routes work, all things I am going to step by step explain of the system. Thank you for watching.